Hey there, folks. Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders here. We have mail. Hey, Santee. Can you do one on snake oil and snake oil salesman? The Searcher. Well, which way did it go, George? Which way did it go? We can do that. In the 19th century, doctors and scientists were hard at work trying to come up with medicines and remedies for ailments. However, a lot of people were looking for miracle cures that were quick, affordable, and accessible. Patent medicines were popular in this era and were supposed to be government regulated, but many weren't. Snake oil is a term for, well, fake medicine. Most of them were marketed as cure-alls, but it wasn't always that way. I hate snake shock! I hate them! One idea comes from an ancient British belief that elements of snakes cure ailments. Boiling a snake and skimming off the oil that floated to the top. Sounds better than selling snake oil. Well, sure. Nobody wants to oil a snake these days. <laughs> it may also have been passed from Chinese immigrants to other railroad workers as an anti-inflammatory agent for aching muscles and joints. There is some advantage to this, as the oil from these slithering reptiles has beneficial levels of omega-3 fatty acids, which aid in healing. Oh. Snake? Surprise! Now, it wasn't always snake oil in the bottle. Many times they substituted with other oils. In the early 1900s, Clark Stanley, the rattlesnake king's remedy, was tested and found to contain mineral oil, animal fat, red pepper, turpentine, and camphor. Yeah, no snake. Hmm, what's fancy coming Interestingly, the other ingredients are actually used to remedy ailments. For instance, red pepper, which contains capsaicin, and camphor are ingredients many use to treat arthritis and other aches. The term took on a negative connotation when it was revealed that the remedies were not actually curing people. These ointments, elixirs, pills, tonics, and extracts contained everything from alcohol to laudanum. Mrs. Winslow's soothing syrup was so successful in quieting babies because it contained high levels of morphine. Yeah. What can I do for you there, partner? You have any buffalo lithia water? That stuff right there will cure a toothache. It'll take care of your rheumatism. Yeah, you know, if you got and if you have a bad hangover, you just drink it. Right. The only thing it won't do is it won't drink so, all the air. Okay, good. Yeah, I know all that. I, I I've had it before. In fact, I just I just need another bottle. So. Well, I got some. Okay, I got. I see that. Yeah. Is it still a dollar? No, it's five. I get the original five. stuff out of China. From China? What? Yeah, you got to get the good stuff. The other financial benefit to these fraudulent medicine peddlers is that they were addictive. So, you kept paying for more. I'm trying to get off of the stuff, you know. So. Oh, you are. Oh, yeah, well, so. this, this'll, this'll do just fine. And there's your bottle for you, sir. I've got everything I need. Okay, I gotta go by. Enter the snake oil salesman. Traveling frauds with the reputation as opportunists and quacks with questionable morals. They weren't scientists and they sure weren't doctors. Was Pirelli's miracle elixir That's what did the trick, so true, so true Some put on a medicine show in town which was largely for entertainment but if their performance convinced you and you weren't feeling good then you bought what they were peddling. This is a positive remedy for weariness, turgidity of the bowels. The medicine shows in the snake oils continued to flourish until 1938 when the Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act required the listing of all ingredients to reveal facts. Oh, the testing of Clark Stanley's stuff I mentioned earlier got him prosecuted and fined $20. Luckily, he had a few bottles on him, so the judge took them in place of payment to help his rheumatism. Sorry, that's not true. This is stupid. In the future, we will do addressing the part for the snake oil salesman, so stay tuned. Well, folks, thanks for watching. And as always, please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you on down the trail.
I, I really just need another bottle of it. Okay, I'm, I've run out. So. <laughs> 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 and it was going good.